Well, police were looking into him for months, and when they searched his home, they say they found quite the haul of illegal drugs and weapons. Philip Bartolo answered to several charges in Superior Court today following his arrest back in March. Providence police seized 20 guns. Several were ghost guns. A single bust. Attorney General Peter Nerona says that surely made a difference on the streets. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto has the latest developments live in Providence. Sheena. Di Bartolo is facing several charges. He's been held without bail since he was first arrested in the spring, and tonight he remains behind bars. Suspected of multiple crimes, Providence police searched Philip Di Bartolo's Douglas Avenue apartment back in March, and authorities had another location in West Warwick, too. That's where investigators say they seized nearly 20 kilograms of marijuana and 20 guns. Seven of those weapons were ghost guns. The items were even shown to us at a press conference in the spring. Today, the 39 year old faced a judge in Providence Superior Court. Philip Di Bartolo. Pleading not guilty to his several charges, Di Bartolo is still wearing the outfit from his mugshot taken in March. To all counts, not guilty, Your Honor. Investigators believe Di Bartolo was selling the drugs in both Providence and West Warwick. Providence police has literally gone through the door of an apartment with a search warrant, a court authorized search warrant, and found somebody building one of these guns. Attorney General Peter Nerona says this case only highlights how accessible ghost guns can be. Di Bartolo has had previous run ins with the law, even serving time in federal prison after pleading guilty to an 11 count indictment of firearms and drug charges in 2014. Over 50% of the gun cases we charge every year involve a ghost gun, meaning a gun that a person can get online without passing a background check. The whole point of that background check is to keep guns out of the hands of criminals. This evades that process and is posing a real danger to Rhode Islanders. And again, Di Bartolo is once again held without bail. His next court date is set for December. And, and Sheena, it sounds like this was quite the investigation. Which agencies were involved? Well, all of them worked together, including Providence Police, West Warwick Police, and even the ATF.